discuss how she would address those issues. Republican candidate Christine Drazen, it's great to have you. Uh, your race is picking up a lot of buzz. You know, you start hearing a little bit about it with Republicans saying, we could win this race. Tell me the state of the race as you see it. Yeah, we are up today. And wow. I could not be more excited about where we stand right now in this race. We are leading in the polls and Oregonians are ready for change. When you think of the news stories that have come out of Portland for three years running, mm. I, I, mm. I, how do folks feel about that? Yeah, they are looking around. They don't recognize their own state. They certainly are not proud of their own city right now. And Oregon is beautiful. I, if you guys were here a few years back, mm -hmm. it is. it used to be the most safe and certainly the most beautiful state uh, in the nation. And that's not the experience we have now. And Oregonians are demanding change. They're looking for change in this election cycle. And it's an opportunity to flip our state because Oregonians are asking for it. Uh, they, they are looking for leadership to ensure public safety, to improve graduation requirements, and certainly to address affordability, which is really out of control here in our state of Oregon. Do you think if people don't get that kind of change that they would consider leaving? Oh, it's happening all the time even now. Uh, people are voting with their feet. They are going to, frankly, Republican states. They're looking for opportunities to be able to keep their kids in school full time. They're looking for a better business environment. My job as Oregon's next governor is to uh, keep people here and, and recruit new businesses here and encourage families to stay and build their lives and build their future in our beautiful state of Oregon. Yeah, right now our Fox Power ranking has Oregon as lean Democrat, uh, which really is, should not be much of a surprise. I mean, it, it's been blue for a long time and it's been a year since they've had a Republican as governor. However, he, here is the state of the race. Tina Kotex, a Democrat. And Betsy Johnson uh, was a Democrat running as an independent. And there's you. And I, I know what the thinking is. The thinking is Johnson's going to take Democratic voters away from Kotech, which gives you the opportunity to shoot the gap. How realistic is yep. that? It is very realistic with help. It's a team effort. You don't win races alone. This is about Oregonians coming together and choosing to have a new direction for their own state. We're only going to get that done if Oregonians across all political lines make the decision to not just have more of the same, not adopt status quo, but really choose to win and choose to have our state be led in a new direction. Betsy Johnson's a Democrat, Tina Kotek's a Democrat. You know, you know, by any other name, they are both Democrats. And so the opportunity in this, in this race really is, do you want more of the same or do you want a new direction? Let's pull up call for number one. This is your roadmap for Oregon. One of the things you said is provide tools to ensure homelessness is rare and temporary. And I'm just curious as governor, what could you actually do that would change that on the streets of Portland? I will declare a homelessness state of emergency in the state of Oregon. It's essential, it's necessary, and we have more than enough money to solve this crisis in our state. Billions of dollars in Oregon has been dedicated to housing, housing supports, shelter beds. Uh, as well as uh, supports at different levels of government to continue to fight this problem. The problem is there's no leadership. There's no one saying this isn't good enough for the people that are on our streets today. There is no compassion, there is no dignity in allowing people to continue to live in conditions which are unsafe for them and certainly not acceptable for the communities and frankly the neighborhoods that they're in. I did a ride along uh, recently and there was an encampment and it was on a street but on the other side of that encampment were chain link fences with homes and trikes in the front yard. This is unacceptable for the people of Oregon. It's mm -hmm. unacceptable for the people that are sleeping on our streets right now and certainly for the communities that are impacted by that. I saw a recent ad you put out in some of the video of a, a, a tent city just goes on forever. Uh, and we'll see whether or not Oregonians are, re uh, are ready to change that. No Republican has held that office since 1987. We'll see how it goes. Thank you for your time today. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you.